Patrick from Heat Space and Light here, designer, supplier, and commissioner of high performance MVHR systems. Today, I wanted to take you through a few options for summer passive cooling via MVHR. So by no means is this active cooling like air conditioning, but there's a few ways that you can optimize the MVHR controls in summer to make sure that you're getting as much of the daytime heat and humidity out of the home as possible. Um, so to do that on this MVHR unit, we can schedule times when the system can boost, uh, go into boost mode. And um, one tactic is to do that in the early evening when the outdoor air is cooler and you boost the system and it will basically remove all of the daytime heat from the air for a few hours. Uh, it takes a few hours and then bring in cooler evening slash nighttime air um, to cool the property before everyone goes to sleep. So to do that on this particular MBHR unit, we go to menu, task menu, and we scroll down to scheduler, and then we click through to these um, schedule options and we click new. Now this would be a daily activity, so we click week, and then we're basically looking for a time in the evening when the outdoor air is a bit cooler. So if we said 7 p.m. or 8 p.m., uh, sometime around about then and we click start and then we go through to the end time and if we said either 10 p.m. or 11 p.m. depending on what time people go to sleep but let's say 10 p.m. for now click confirm and then what we're going to do is we're going to put it into boost mode so if we click confirm again this will set that boost mode for the time period of 7 o'clock till 10 p.m. Um, and as I say it's cooler night nighttime air so the system will just run at about 0.5 air changes per hour in boost so within two hours all of the daytime heat will have been extracted and all of the cooler nighttime air will be in the home so it's really useful uh, you can of course do this manually so in the evenings you could um, just push the boost button once the uh, cooler nighttime air is here for a few hours let it run and then turn off boost before you go to sleep so that would be another option uh, for cooling Another thing you can do on this particular MVHR unit is you can go to menu, task menu, and if you go to temperature profile, there's actually three different profiles for um, uh, this setting. And what this does is it tells the unit to activate the automated passive cooling measures in summer at a lower target temperature than usual. So to explain that a bit further, um, if we are in normal mode, then the automatic summer bypass for this unit will activate when the air is starting to approach 25, 26 degrees Celsius and above indoors. Um, if you put it into cool, then that will activate at 22, 23 degrees. So it won't wait that long for the home to get hot um, before it starts to close off the bypass damper and keep things going. Um, you've also got warm mode in winter. And what this does is uh, the opposite, so it waits for longer, it tries to retain more of the indoor heat um, in the heat exchanger recovery phase uh, in winter. Um, and you want to make sure that you don't mix up the two. So you don't want it to be set in cool in winter, uh, and sorry, cool in summer and warm in winter because that will um, do the opposite of what you intend. But for now we're in the summer season, so if we put it into cool and click confirm, uh, what will happen is there's a little indicator here just to show that we are in the cooling mode and um, that can stay on now until the rest of our summer and it will just, as I say, it will just help with that passive cooling process so it won't let the home get too warm before it starts to turn off the heat recovery and extract and exhaust all of the hot humid air straight outside and bring in ambient air to replace it. So there's a couple of options for cooling that you can try uh, with your own MVHR systems. Hope this helps. Thank you.